Something even better planned for no! this wall. <laughs> no! 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? And I love. Talk. Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, the premium channel that is free. Um, it is, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium. So premium that I'm gonna fix you up. <laughs> I'm gonna remodel you. I'm gonna level you up even beyond. And then I'm gonna sell you for profit. Cause today we're talking about house flippers, specifically the Florida Flipsters, which is a, a married duo of uh, people who make very interesting decisions architecturally, uh, <laughs> interior design and renovation. Oh, I've wise. covered this before, right? Is this, this the, these are the guys I've covered, right? Is it? Oh wait, no, it's not. Okay, this is new. Uh, <laughs> interior design and renovation wise. They've I'm gonna been pee. going viral on TikTok for making every wrong and bad decision they possibly can with their house flip that they're doing. They made one particularly big choice that no one liked and then that went viral and then apparently they started getting harassed about the choices that they were making um lots of people you know started to also talk about the ethics of house flipping which uh, i think is interesting and we'll get into it is just interesting how mad people are getting about the choices that these people ma are making and i don't like them either but without further ado let's watch their uh extremely viral tiktok that they've turned the comments off because people got so mad of them renovating this 1970s fireplace. Today we are taking this fireplace from Hobbit Core to Cottage Core. Now a lot of you suggested that we should just clean the stones and it would brighten it. However, these stones have very large dark grout lines that just look dirty even after a good scrub. So we're gonna be trying the German smear technique. They haven't met the clean girl because I feel like the clean girl can make any dirty surface white. Does she paint it? Maybe. <laughs> Is she cheating? Perhaps but she gets the job done. Some people said this was such a millennial trend, when in reality, this technique was developed centuries ago and used on castles and buildings all throughout Europe. I do think though that if somebody says something's a millennial trend, they mean right now. Like if someone says this joke is such a millennial joke, the type of joke may have existed for centuries. Like it's crazy that people say pull my finger is a dad joke when people have been using pull my finger for thousands of years. It's actually a timeless look that gives the fireplace an almost old world feel. Here is how it turned out. What do you think? That is horrible. Oh my God. Now I see why people are mad. This was fine. And then you made it so much worse. It was nice. It looks unfinished. It looks like construction is currently happening. It looks like my test. Oh, oh. Oh, ew. Oh, gross. Stop it. Oh, hell no. When I have to like white out an answer that I wrote in pen and the white out like makes the surface look like really bumpy and gross and you can still kind of see the ink behind it. It looks like they tried to use white out on the fireplace. Okay, so this is like what they were going for, but I still don't see it. Oh, and comments are turned off. Wow. So allegedly this account, the Florida Flipster. Flippers don't re-upload this. This video was uploaded uh, too early. And I'm allowed to make this video because I'm from Florida. They like to give things a second chance at life. And they have 780,000 followers. Each of these TikToks is getting hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views. So, you know, you'd think they're doing something. They've got something figured out. They followed up the controversy of this German schmear. I just learned what that was. German schmear fireplace disaster with this video. But first, we have a brief word from today's sponsor, Aura. Aura is an app that lets you control what private information about you is shared online. Because there is unfortunately a lot of information that can be found about you on the internet from your full name, phone number, addresses, previous addresses, relatives. It gets weird. And the reason that it gets weird is because there's a market for this stuff. There's data brokers that profit by selling your information to uh, some creep who ethical wants reacts, it ethical and with Aura, they ethical can identify reacts. these data brokers and then submit opt-out requests on your behalf. We are so Jarvis no uh, lovers and supporters on, on this channel. They can even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists so your inbox can be cleaner than mine. Aura even monitors your emails. Why am I watching someone else's ad? Because we're watching his video, so I think it's fair to watch his ad as well. Password again to the Here, I'll skip to the link. Wild. So Jarvis and get a 14 day free trial. Here you go. And see what information about you is available 
to whoever wants it. <laughs> Thanks again to Aura for sponsoring this video. Now back to the video. Never in my life did I think a fireplace DIY would trigger the internet so much that the app would have to turn on anti-bullying mode, but moving on. The app turned on anti-bullying mode? We detected comments that may be unwanted or unfriendly on your recent post. Moving on, because we have an exciting update. This vaulted ceiling was just begging for a beam, and today we are finally installing one. Oh, no. I have these rubber straps to hide the seams and to make it all look cohesive. But it doesn't hide the seam. It, like, highlights the seam. I thought this was just going to be them responding to the criticism about the about the fireplace but they said no we're gonna create something else objectionable for you to be upset about a fake wooden beam made out of foam looking at their social media footprint to florida flipsters lindsay and tyler they're a husband and wife team beautiful amazing always cool to see two partners working together you know making their relationship even we're gonna do tiktok reacts after this from the discord okay everybody stop fucking sharpen stop sharpening deeper day by day fireplace by fireplace they've got a youtube channel where they do more long form diy stuff they're reci they have the recycling icon that explains why they've used this foam beam uh but i the beam didn't need to exist to begin with so i don't know I, it's just like you want to do achieve the aesthetic but at the andre i did for like an hour if you want to see what i talked about with zone of interest i talked about it for an hour in the beginning of the stream really an hour and 30 fixing up home, doing home renovation okay for lighting we wanted a mid-century kind of funky light to keep in the 70s spirit for the space okay so what? i haven't seen the first part of this series but i'm guessing they they're going for like a 70s style house for some reason does that make the flip easier this is a thing where i i know what i like i know what i don't like i'm not an expert on home renovations i don't think you should mount a light fixture to a foam fake piece of wood that's a thing i think but i'm not sure it doesn't seem right it doesn't feel stable so what i'm gathering is that this home is supposed to this renovation this project it's that 70s house it's supposed to be 70s theme and when you think of homes in the 70s what do you think lead paint asbestos health hazards this house has everything. Melaleuca tree, which we then sanded and stained to perfectly match the ceiling beam. Wait, so, wait. They have a ceiling beam that looks like a Snickers bar that's made of foam. And then they said, you know what? We'll match this perfectly. Real wood. <laughs> we're going to get some real wood and we're going to include that as well. They do say that they got the foam because they couldn't lift the wood up to the ceiling or maybe there wouldn't be support because the whole point about a beam is that it's like load bearing, right? So like faking a beam is pointless. They did say specifically, due to the size of the beam needed, we knew we'd have to find a foam beam for us to physically be able to have the strength to lift. We found these. So they had to get a foam beam so that they would physically have the strength to lift it. But I feel like you could just get help for just this one thing, right? I'm, I'm, there's other reasons that you don't. You are looking into this too logically, my man. I think they're just doing it for they're doing it for the for the same reason that every house flipper like renovation channel does it it's rage baiting I think like a lot of that content is just straight up rage baiting they are trying to farm people to get angry and it's very successful it oh it makes me angry when I see that stuff oh my god I'm not even a contractor it's not just about like pissing people off that are contractors it's like straight up pissing everybody off put a heavy piece of wood you don't stick it to the to the ceiling if it's not actually necessary for the structural integrity of the house it does make sense to me why they wouldn't put a big very heavy piece of wood stuck to the ceiling but the issue that they said was lifting it which does it ain't rage bait i work with those people lol wait what like a solvable problem uh but i'm not like a structural engineer so i don't nor do i build houses it is crazy how much the mantle really helped tie everything together i guess you have to use wood for the mantle because if you used foam <laughs> it would be very apparent just no one touched the light fixture or the beam or this uh very obvious seam hider that doesn't really hide the seam there's something that just fucking kills my soul about fake foam beam i don't know what it is it's just so ugly it does look like a snickers bar like ah why did you do that of the wood so yeah just a few things to look out for living room is coming along hopefully you agree but if not i am sure you will let us know i, I have it every time they pan over to the fireplace i'm just like ah 
Ah! Why? Why did you do that? Every time they pan over the fireplace, it gets just worse and worse. We do the floors, but stay tuned because next up we're tackling the kitchen. So once again, the comments are off and I'm dying to know what people are really thinking. I'm so late to this. I want to know what people are saying about these videos. I don't know what the extent of the harassment was, so I can't say what, you know, isn't, isn't acceptable, but this does feel extreme, but I don't know. Sometimes maybe people are getting real intense about their interior design and their, uh, home renovations you know for now we really need your input should we keep the fireplace as is or should we try out a german smear technique to lighten it up just a bit even the picture that they chose like looks better i can't explain why still looks bad though what they did is so bad and i wish i could see the comments it is totally okay if you absolutely hate our design decisions design is subjective however a large majority did say that we should try the german smear technique so clearly not everyone liked the original bro thirteen thousand votes yo they must be trolling thirty nine thousand views thirteen thousand votes this community has never gotten that level of engagement dude okay the audience is like they're they're hate watching. They they most what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Oh, fireplace. Oh. What just happened? As evidence of the That was weird as hell. No, that was weird as hell. It just went white for no reason. I don't even know how. Okay, well, we know the problem with that is it's the execution. <laughs> I don't think German German schmear is to blame. Smear. I don't think German smear is to blame. Also, we are not the first people to install a light on a foe or foam beam. Oh, I was so curious about that. And we had some pretty crazy hateful messages this past week, especially with our integrity in question. So now can we please move forward and just continue working on this house? I'm sympathetic. I'm sympathetic. So I want to I wanna know what people think because I'm sympathetic to this message. <laughs> it's honestly everything you did, babe. <laughs> It's the turn on the ceiling was too far for me. Oh my God, dude, people are ruthless. I think it's fine if things are ugly. I'm like sympathetic to a lot of what they're saying here. It's worth noting that like they're flipping this house using their like amateur DIY skill set of which if I'm a buyer of a house, I don't want that <laughs> if I'm like in the market and I can't tell what's a professionally done job okay. and what's uh, a job by two amateurs with a uh, taste I don't agree with and um, you know Snickers bars on the roofs by the way cheers I found these candy bars that look just like the center beam uh, but instead of made it being made of foam they're made of uh, like chocolate and nougat and like peanuts and stuff it's crazy it's delicious wouldn't put it on my roof would put it in my mouth <laughs> if you know what i'm saying not sponsored by the way <laughs> i don't know how qualified these people are to be doing these diy jobs i have no problem with them doing these things on their own house but when they're selling it to another person i just have to hope that the countless inspectors who are going to be involved in like the the selling and buying of of one of the houses that they work on are able to call out all of the stuff that they miss because i don't know how lax like florida house inspections are but in california depending on what you're looking at i know it can be pretty they can be pretty strict so but i don't want to have to hope right i don't want to have to hope that the system like is able to catch them and and that's not to say that they can't uh, g gather the skills to be professionals it's just that today they're not and it's it's a diy project that they're now selling a living space to someone and in the darkest timeline this becomes an airbnb where you can rent out the ugly tiktok house for 150 dollars a night we don't want that either i just want people to be able to live in places that are normal <laughs> uh is that too much to ask so while i don't think that these people should be harassed or anything like that i also i'm a home inspector i would tell the buyer to take that fucking light down before it falls on someone yeah uh except you should be a dick vein inspector and judge the house not on safety standards but instead on the standards of how veiny the dick is and that dick was veiny 
understand if people have issues with like that the ethics of what they're doing especially when you know there's just like a history of landlords and flippers being cutting corners to you know make a quick buck <laughs> god don't look at landlord tiktok because that is a, that's an even worse cesspool so what i want to do now is uh with this added context <laughs> i want to watch some of this series my man, my man said don't turn my passion into work <laughs> Of flipping that 70s house so yeah, far it doesn't lose, look like the same yeah when you when you turn your passion when you turn your hobby and your passion into work it, you, you all of a sudden lose what made it your passion to begin with you know what i mean so yeah maybe don't do that slatty maddie is begging to get banned by the way absolutely begging he is in the chat every day going oh my god please i'm begging for the smoke i need it bad 70s to me but i want to see the vision we just bought a 1970s fixer upper so come on in and let us give you a tour okay so, so on OPM, the bright I'm side so this OPM. video has comments so that's a good sign a lot of work and because of that it scared off a lot of buyers but we were able to get it for a great deal and could immediately see the potential in the space i don't i, mean, I guess for me if i'm fixing uppering it to me it looks good but just like probably needs stuff you know from that epic stone fireplace to this extremely private backyard we just felt like it had so much charm and just needed a little bit of love the home itself is just over 2,000 square feet like this is beautiful it has got so much character i get if you like have your own house and you're like i don't like this element of my house i want to change it destroying the What's natural character King is what i eat every day to chicken. sell it to like make it more like like approach the the mean of like the mcmansion style like super bland of design chicken. like doesn't feel good i have no problem if somebody buys the house and then changes it but like removing the character just to sell it just to like go to that lowest common denominator it's just i guess the issue i'm taking is that like why is housing an asset <laughs> all i would like to see is uh just take what's there and like you know fix the insides because it's a seven if it's if it's a 70s house then keep it a 70s house is my thing. A house can have a character and then a person that like fits that character or like mostly fits that character and vibe can be like, oh, I like this. I see like the potential in this. And it's like a bummer that somebody's like, no, 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 we need to get rid of this so that we can sell it. Whatever issues it had, you just fix those issues and like bring out the existing character rather than like changing the character. Is that weird? Does that make sense? All of the changes are to maximize profit and whatever. It's a business. We live in a capitalist society. It's fine. But then also on top of that, we're doing snicker bar roofs, <laughs> you know? We're doing snicker bar roofs and we're doing whiteout on the fireplace. None of those things to me are addressing the structural issues with the house. I wanna know what the actual issues that need to be fixed, how this is a blank canvas to like do your DIY. I know a lot of people are a little triggered when they hear the word house flip. And quite honestly, I am too, because so many of them all look the same. Yeah, yeah, so many of them do all look the same. So I promise we are gonna try our best she's, to lean she's into right, the though. 19th Did she lie? Okay, so they say they're trying to do what Did I- Did she lie? Did she lie? She made it ugly as hell. Technically correct is very different. <laughs> is different. What I asked, and I who am I to ask this? I'm just I'm sort sort of still forming my opinion about this as I go. And give this home some character. That's the thing. You, it doesn't need character. It has character. Am I wrong? It feels like it has quite a lot of character as it is. It's got a fucking greenhouse. What it's the what it doesn't have is foam wood. And they're like, let's add that. That'll be the character it needs. It just feels like an arts and crafts project. If you're not telling me about the actual problems that, that you're fixing. A lot of you had some choice words for us when we decided to concrete over what was a filled in swimming pool after getting quoted a ridiculous amount that's so interesting it's like this rubber band effect of like they say they're gonna do something and then they're like responding to the haters I was honestly shocked that so many people said that we should have just left it as dirt and that we robbed the new homeowners of a potentially beautiful garden i promise you they're gonna have no problem finding garden space because this home sits on over half an acre which is basically like hitting the lottery in southern florida wow which is the fact that it actually has a beautiful rocked area perfect for koi fish it's like if 
feels like they're choosing to do work that didn't need to be done to make the house sellable. And then like responding is like opening up the forum for discussion. The indoor garden would have been so magical and gorgeous and peaceful 9,000 like. Isn't that what everybody wants? A giant slab of concrete? Not opposed to it in some instances, but in this home, it just really stole all of the natural light and made the rooms feel very dark and cavernous. Okay, well, hold on. <laughs> it's so funny. Growing up in Florida as a child, I would have killed for a cavern. <laughs> Get me out of the sun, dude. I'm dying. There, it's everywhere. There's all these spaces that are like, that are openly exposed to the natural light. I'm like, give me a place where I don't have to spend a bajillion dollars on the AC. I used to sit as a kid in Florida in front of a fan. I would just sit and put my face in front of the fan and I would just go, ah, uh, and then it would make a little sound because of the fan was flipping because I needed to be cooled because I was just sweating all the time and it was too expensive to run the AC. So it's like, I get why there would be some rooms that were, uh, that had less natural light in them. I, in, in like California where I live now and like, um, and in just, uh, in general, I get it. Like everyone loves natural light. TikTok loves natural light, but shout out to not having natural light in a few places just so that you can like <laughs> survive <laughs> just leaned up against every single window so i was very happy to remove that and just let all of the light yeah i don't think she understands like there's a reason for why they had that there pour in instead of trying to understand why the previous homeowners had made the choices they made they like look at it from the oh they're doing this dumb thing you know it's like coming from this position of like oh they they clearly weren't using the space the best way that they could we are removing this tree feature as well before you get too angry let me just say that this was also just a sticker and definitely not original to the home by any means in my opinion it did actually look a bit tacky in person and just really distracted your view from this beautiful fireplace which you fucked up those are kind of ugly though I'm not gonna lie, the tree kind of makes it look like some weird Scientology cult shit is happening in the house. I don't know why, like, that, I can envision it with the tree decal on the fucking window, and it just looks, it just looks like it's a cult room or something that's sad i kind of liked it or what if you did some like um stained glass version of the same thing but it definitely was personality after removing it from the inside we realized that it was also on the outside as well it was almost like it was like done intentionally <laughs> it's almost like they wanted it that way it took me an embarrassingly long time to find the perfect neutral beige color look i get it you need neutrals but it is funny that like the stereotype of like like flippers and like renovators who are just uh, maximizing profit is just to turn everything beige. We moved on to the bathroom door that looked like an island threw up on it. Luckily, we were able to remove the wallpaper and bring it back to its former glory and expose the beautiful wood. I am so Ew. happy with how these doors came out. They honestly look brand new and beautiful wood. That door looks like a fucking office door from the 90s. Put something else on it. Ended up only costing a couple hundred dollars for the whole home, and that includes brand new hardware as well. Let me know what you think. And I don't mind getting rid of like 50 year old wallpaper or however old it is, but replacing it with the neutral beige is a move. All right, so here's one of the worst flip homes that I've inspected in a long time. Just in the in the cacophony of this, uh, my friend sent me this home inspector video, like looking at like the bad things that house flippers do. I love this video that he's about to show you. I've watched it like multiple times. And this baseboard looked good. It was freshly painted. There was new components at the toilet. But when I tapped on it, I about pushed through the wall because there was so much water damage behind this toilet. And what do they do? They just paint over it and move on. I just got one of these things because there's a, we have a leak or had a leak and uh, I've never seen it go that high. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm falling off the toilet every time I use it. Oh, no. This is why I have some faith, right? Because you can't sell this house to a person that's planning to live in it without like a home inspector coming and like doing an inspection, writing a report, re telling the city about it and stuff. And so at least there's that. <laughs> that's like Florida. Florida. 
I don't know. The one thing that I'm like, okay. We're told that one of the previous owners was a tile guy, and it is very apparent as he used flooring tile on not only the kitchen countertops, but also the bathroom vanities. What does tile what? guy even mean? Like, is he? I love tiles. I just put them everywhere. <laughs> He's like putting them on the microwave. <laughs> Dude, people are so mean. No German smear on the tile countertop. Are you going to try foam countertops? <laughs> oh my God, dude. They, oh, that's so funny. They asked for this. Why not pour concrete over the tile counter? <laughs> oh, wow. This is wild. It's an office looking light. And l l th that could have just fallen into your eyes. I don't build houses for a living. I feel like you're looking up, you're looking up with your nail file. All of the ceiling dust is falling in, into your eyes. The particulates, the fiberglass just... Look, look at this, bro, put some eyewear on. Ew, wait a second. This is upsetting to me. I feel like if you're gonna fix something, just move the lights, right? If you're gonna cut out, I saw him cutting out the drywall. Okay, so I see three here. We're all seeing this, right? There's painter's tape here, 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 here. They measured this out somehow, and then they're just cutting the drywall. I think that's drywall. I don't know that much about houses. <laughs> what am I doing here? Wood as a spacer, so it is all evenly spaced between the slats, and then just secure it in place with a brad nailer. Okay, this oh, looks nice. I don't, I don't hate this. That's good. That was fire. I take it back. That part was good. I don't hate a wood slot wall. I, I can never hate a wood slot wall. We got rid of the old light fixture that literally gave off almost no light and replaced it with a more mid-century one. No! Personally, I really hate these type of light fixtures. Hands down, one of the coolest features of this property is this gorgeous dedicated studio space. Oh my God, what are they gonna do? Oh my God, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? Are they gonna fuck it up? Please don't tell me you're gonna fuck that up. That looks sick. Main wall has this mid-century wood shelving unit that I love. However, we have something even better planned for no! this wall. <laughs> no! 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? And I love, but we're getting rid of it. Disassembled it so that we can move it into the garage area. Okay. It was advertised ah! in an artist studio and we quickly realized it was just lacking the art. It felt like fate because a local artist actually ended up reaching out to us and offered That's, You're on crack. You're on, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. You're trolling. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. They should have their rights re revoked. Okay. Oh my God. Do a custom mural on this home and we knew immediately. Oh my God. Oh my, oh my God. Oh, that's so fucking bad. Does it say oh. new? Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh, that's so bad. That is, oh, that hurts. It hurts my fucking eyes. Port Ritchie. Oh, Newport Ritchie, like in, in South Florida. It oh, no. It feels like a coffee shop. I mean, like the artist is 100% talented. Uh, It's just like for inside of a, it's interesting. It's interesting. Inside of a home is interesting. Did you lose a bet? Oh my God. This does look like an Airbnb. Like you're gonna rent it out. It's giving Canva. Oh no. Oh no. I, the thing is the, the, the artist is obviously talented. It's the direction, you know? Opened up all of the doors and broke down and bought a paint sprayer. Ugh, get some shit on your face. That's crazy. That's how you know they're not using PPE. Even though removing the popcorn ceiling doesn't technically add more value to the home, we felt like it was a necessary next step. Removing the popcorn ceiling is the only good decision you made on this flip. <laughs> Which is ironic because like, you know, asbestos in the popcorn ceiling is very 70s vibes. People are so mad, it's crazy. I wish that they would just fix the house. <laughs> I wish that they would just say, hey, we bought this house, 
and, and somebody couldn't, you know, uh, the average uh, home buyer wouldn't be able to buy this house because of how much maintenance it needs. And here's the maintenance it needs. And now we're going to fix it. That's an interesting story that I think everybody would be interested in because I'm never going to fix up a house myself. I don't think unless my hobbies dramatically change, but uh, I would like to know problem solution. There's some satisfaction in that. But a lot of this feels like, um, you know, pet DIY pet projects that are not actually making the home better. And I think a lot of people are upset that it feels like they're taking this like character rich 1970s home and driving it towards this mean of the landlord's special lowest common denominator uh, decor choices. Who knows where the story where the story goes? I'm gonna be following along now. I'm now I'm locked in. But um, yeah, obviously. Uh, don't harass these people. That's bad. People are harassing them enough already. The comments are very mean. I've watched a lot of bad comments, or excuse me, a lot of bad content in my career on YouTube, and I've never seen <laughs> the comments filled with such ire. Just because you're an adult with money doesn't mean you have an eye for design. Wait, do you think I have an eye for design? Is that what I'm saying? I just have eyes. Like... I don't think I have an eye for design. I do think I have eyes though. Do you? Did you see what they did to that beautiful fucking shelf? They trapped it in the fucking garage. Oh no, I meant them. Do they have money? I don't know. I thought you were there to defend them and, and be like, oh, these guys are doing great stuff actually.